Hey guys, it's a Tin Man. Nice, beautiful piece of art right here, isn't it? Let me back up a little bit. Yeah, I'm, there is a piece of metal in there if you're seeing the metal. But the metal's in there for a reason. Oops, I'm going to get focused better. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, I've done something wrong here, guys. Hmm. Oh, my fingers are just so wet. I'm just so wet. So I'm going to try to do this, and hopefully it works for you. Um, see the pipe inside there? I dropped that in there. To, somebody had thrown it in the river over here. And then after I did that, then I realized there's a bunch of these scars right there. Hopefully they come in focus pretty good for you. It looks like they are. And that wouldn't be a kid playing around like that, you guys. I can't really come in with zooming. i got to do it this way. Well, I might be able to do it with my dial here. No. Okay, so like that. And, yeah, if you really think about it, do you really think somebody came here with an exacto blade after what I've been telling for years now? And then you come over to something like that, and that's where I say that cutting technique might be used and when you're doing a certain shaping with the tree with a tree and it's scarring left behind or from a real bend that is some kind of a binding that the tree is able to do but I've always suspected scarring similar like that but like that one looks very neat and tidy it's done really well if you know what I'm talking about here And stick around. We have one more thing to show you. So let's go over here. Talking about metal in the creek. I've just done a big walk over here. I just did a little nice setup of a couple of walks that I really liked. Those two beauties right there. And the one on the bottom really reminds me of breaking they do, the, like a lot of chipping and stuff. It really reminds me of big rocks I've been noticing lately where they're working them and they look like that. So that's a small size of that. So anyways, you see what we're seeing right there in the center? That's a hunk of probably angle iron, but it might be U-shape or something. I'm not really sure, but it's about 12 inches long. It looks like it's going to be over 6 inches on that side and that side, which you can see even seeing a orange scribed X on there maybe or something. I don't know, but I uh, I noticed it. I uncovered that corner, that this corner here, because I wanted to see how long it was. But it has obviously been uncovered. So what we are seeing here is some work in action, I believe. I don't think a person came across that and it's decided to start digging it out. So we're probably going to get to see that angle, iron U-shape, whatever it is, 12 inches approximately long, sitting up here one day, I say. So Yoo-hoo, I got no zoom or anything. My camera's upset with the wetness going on. So with this log and all that kind of stuff right there, it uh, is a good shot to look at something in the background even. You know, me, what's, lots of times what I try to do is I'm trying to get that center. That's just kind of nat natural for us to go to center if you can, unless you're trying to be real sneaky, like say I was picking one of those dark spots there and I wanted to put it up into that left corner. Then I could do that, and then I could describe it to you. Okay, right now I got that left corner in the camera. Now I'm going to bring it around to the center, you know, and talk like that, and try to figure out what we're trying to figure out. Peace out from the tin man. I'm just going to have to turn it right off by shutting down the power.